Mm. What's up, y'all? Hello. What's up? We have any. <clears throat> All right, so. Always bad one person that will always have your heart. You never see it. <laughs> You're so stupid. All right, I'm just kidding, but. Oh my god. So she's getting sick. Alright, enough of that. Anyways, so today we're going to talk about how we met. Yeah, there we go. It took me, it took me a second. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I did have a brain fart. Alright, so how did we meet? So once upon a time, there was this black guy named Tevin, okay? So. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways. Uh, so long story short, I moved to Whittier in 2010 to live with my mom, and then I had a neighbor. Her name was Sam. Okay, and um, I remember she inviting. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I moved to Whittier. Yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. So. I moved to Whittier in January of 2010, and I had a neighbor named Sam, and my birthday was February, my birthday is February 17th, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, the Super Bowl was around, shut up, the Super Bowl was around that time, so I had like a Super Bowl party, invited the neighbors, so Sam invited friend, her friends from high school, and I met, who do you think of it? Anissa. I met Anissa or Anissa. Anissa. So I met her, and she was she's chill as hell. She's a chill person. And then I remember I, I enrolled into Whittier High School, and um, I probably was going there maybe a week. Or two. Oh, you weren't in school when that happened? No, I was. Oh. But I barely enrolled in at school, so maybe like a week or two. But Anissa is like, oh, have you met my friend Jessica and Myra? That did not happen. Yes, Jessica and Myra. This is how it happened. Okay, wow. Me and Anissa and Jess were hanging out, and then he was by, I think it was by the, the little basketball courts, no? No, I, think it was I don't know. I don't know. But then she was just like, oh, I went to his house, and then something about, I don't know, he went up to her, and he's like, you went to my house and ate all the chicken and left. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said, something like that. I would say you don't so. remember that? She probably did eat all my chicken. I don't remember. The point is, I was just looking at him. I was just like, this guy seems a little bit cocky just to call up and be like, you ate all my chicken, blah, 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 thinking he's not cool. <laughs> so I left. Wait. I literally left them. I left. I don't know if you saw Wait, him. hold up, hold up. I'm cocky now? I told you. So I'm cause... cocky and I'm, because I walked up. First of all, it's called confidence. Second of all, if someone eats all your chicken, you better walk up to him and tell him, hey, you ate all my chicken and left. I think she did. She ate all my chicken. Yeah, because I, I remember the whole group left. They came <laughs> to the house, chilled a little bit, and ate, and then they left. Anyways. My point is, I think I walked away. And I was just yeah. on my phone, and then Anissa and Jess were with him. And all of a sudden, I just like hear him coming up to me, and I was just like, what the fuck? And then he's like... She's talking about her phone, her Metro PCS phone. That's what she meant. She used her phone. Those phones last forever. Yeah, not yeah, for real. Compared to your iPhones. But anyways, um, I met her and then I was like, I I guess she was on her phone or something. I looked at her. I was like, Do you like black guys? Like dead ass. I was like really serious too. I was like, Do you like black guys? Cause she was all Mexican as fuck back then. I was just like, what? no. Mm -hmm. But then she. I don't just know. Like, you yourself yeah. tell her what you say. I just looked at you like. <laughs> but yeah. tell her what you told me a couple of years later. What did I tell you? Right now, what did you say when you were being all on it? You said, "You know what? Actually, what?" Okay, she told me that she lied because first of all, she said she likes black guys, but then second of all, she said she never really was interested in a black guy, yeah, and then because of them. asking that question, it opened her mind up to considering. That she will like a black guy. And then she told me a couple of years later. So you know what? After a while I started really thinking about that. About it and started looking at you. Well she was looking at me saying. Oh you know what? Maybe he is kind of cute. 
She never once said I was cocky <laughs> until now. So that, that's why I feel like she's lying to y'all. Because I was never cocky. I was more like, if I see a girl, I'm not going to be nervous about her. She's just a girl. You know, like, why would I be nervous? <laughs> Better than Selena Gomez. There's Selena Gomez. I would be nervous. I'm nervous <laughs> up, Gomez. I'll call her G. You know, I'll probably find a way to make her smile. But hey, what's up, G? And she's like, what? I'm like, Gomez. Well, that's how we Bam. Are. Uh huh. Don't get me started. She knows Selena Gomez is my bae. She likes some guy named. It's not it's Don it. Benjamin. She doesn't like him. She likes it's some other black guy. She wants some chocolate nigga. Like, What's because. His name? I don't know his name. That's how irrelevant it is. Like, I do not care. I don't care. But anyway, <laughs> we're talking about how we met, not how we're going to meet our future, you know, <coughs> lovers. Selena Gomez, I got you. What's up? See, we cool. This is how our relationship is right now, you know? We at the point where we had enough of each other, you I know. I could finish all the Kit Kats and it wouldn't matter. No, my, you always need my candy. This is my candy. Okay. Anyways, <coughs> that's how I met her. I, she didn't even know she liked black guys. <coughs> she thought I was cocky. Whatever, whatever. Alright. That's pretty much it. That's it. I'm I mean, saying. we had a long yeah, history. Do you want to talk about our history? No. Okay, because she was a stupid that could one, be right? Hard yeah, it was a. She was. She stupid. messed up the in between part. Like we didn't go to prom and we didn't do all this because fun stuff together. Because I was not gonna ask no <laughs> thought. Okay, think about it. You were a thought to me. That was a thought. Stop. Not that emotion. She wasn't like a bad thought. Not like too thoughty. Like. I don't want her getting mad at me, but like long, the short story, she messed things up between us. I didn't take her seriously. There was other individuals in my life at that time. Once after high school, we reconnected at a party and five years or so later, <laughs> ta da, here we are. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't seem happy, huh? I think it just kind of died down, didn't it? Oh no. No. Well, that's our relationship. Um, let me know if you ever just came across an individual and be like, you know what? Do you even like my kind of people? <laughs> and then from there you end up what with I that person? Of, well, I want to ask you. Why what? was that like the first thing you said? Or asked? At this point, do I you know who I am? At this point, do you know who I am? Is that a serious question? No, but what was going through your mind when you asked that? See, that's the problem. I, I thought she knew me by now. Because certain things, doesn't, it just pops up in my head. You know, like if I see her and she looks all cholita, I'm like, okay, well. I wasn't a cholita. Uh-huh. <laughs> he <laughs> always brings up these pants that supposedly <laughs> I wear, but I don't recall them. Like, I didn't ever have Oh, my pants. gosh. I, I, think, I don't have pictures of us, but she had these. These, okay, what? they're fake pants. Have you seen leggings that look like pants? I never had But they're not ones. really pants. What they look like them, and they, I swear, it's just like the most cholita thing I ever seen. And she had them, and then she was all happy, enchilada, and uncomfortable. I was like, You said enchilada? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> but that was it. But our relationship has been improving. Why? Has it been improving? Do you think it's improving over the time frame? I think so. Me too. I think she's developed from her being 15 since I met her to 23. Well, no, babe. I've, I've been stuck at 15. <laughs> she's talking about her height. I, I think. You stayed the same. I'm still the uh, same height. I think you're talking about your height, not your personality. Because if you have no growth, then who are you? A person stuck in high school, and those are the worst. No, no. They have no goals. No, Tevin was really short when I met him. Yeah, we were like, the same height actually. Yeah, we were we we're the same height, but then I I grew. I should have been taller. Don't get me started. My mom is five one and my dad is six four. Like she, <laughs> if, I, if you're watching this, mama, like I just wish you were a little bit taller, like at least five five. Because if you were five five, like I would have been like though. six one or six two. Promise, at least. Huh? I say you're the perfect height. I don't know what you can think. No, I'm like average. Average is not good. You know, below, like, that's more than average. You know what I mean? Hey. No. Why would you do that? <laughs> so 
Wow. All right, that's cut. You know what? This video is done. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank y'all.